Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I am at Home Depot yet again. It seems like everything is coming in on completely different days rather than shit just all being shipped and I'm coming to pick it all up at once. Today, I got the knobs for the kitchen. So at least that's the one thing that we're able to do ourselves, theoretically. So I don't know that we're gonna do that anytime soon because I have a lot of shit to do to get on the road tomorrow and then I'll be gone for two days. So probably this weekend, we'll probably sit down and do it. Here's what I wanna talk about, a lack of motivation. And it happens. It happens to me every once in a while. I always say how I'm used to posting every day, like it's just part of my daily routine. I get up, I film a ton of shit throughout the day, and then I cut together a video and I post it. And I am constantly saying, this is not a cinematic movie blockbuster creating channel. It's just my shitty little vlog. I'm documenting my daily life. And that happens to be mostly through photography, videography type shit, electronics, and my never ending quest to move forward and up. A lot of times that means I'm buying shit. I'm just, I'm buying stuff that I think will, will help me move in that direction. And sometimes I buy shit that doesn't. And, and I post on that. I have also said that this is not about money. I'm not like in this to try to monetize and become a full-time content creator uh, with, with brand deals and this, that, and the other thing. I have turned down so many offers to do, you know, like review videos for crap that people want to send me. And I mean, a lot of times it's bullshit. They want you to, oh, we want to buy your positive, you know, feedback. You just go buy it. And then when you do the video, we'll refund your money. Yeah, screw that. I'm not doing that shit. You want me to review your stuff, send it to me. So the, there's only one company that reached out to me and has stuck with it. And of course, I'm a slacker and I haven't made the video yet, but I've had a lot of shit happening in life. And I did warn them that shit was happening. So I'm going to get to that. But other than that, I'm not doing this with the end game of trying to not have to work a day job anymore and to become this big influencer that has f free shit sent to him all the time. If it happens, it happens. I doubt it's gonna happen because I pretty much tell people no, and you know, because I just don't wanna deal with that crap. I don't have a problem buying my own shit and, and figuring it out because then it's mine. I've bought it. No one can tell me what to do with it. No one can tell me what and when I have to shoot a video or what I have to say about it, or what I can't say about it. Because, yeah, screw that. Okay, you've got the lay of the land. This is just a shitty little vlog documenting my daily life under the overall encompassing guise of I wanted to be a photographer and a videographer. And sometimes, since I'm a disabled veteran, I have a body that doesn't cooperate with me. And that adds a whole nother challenge to getting this kind of shit done. And that's it. That's all this channel is. Now, that being said, shooting a daily vlog is not easy. It's not easy because you get to a point where you think to yourself, does anybody really give a shit about this? I mean, yeah, there's a couple of people that seem, that I know of anyways, because they regularly comment on my videos, that watch my stuff, you know, for one reason or another, and they clearly, they must be getting something out of it. And that's great. I just want to help people out by buying shit and then telling them whether it's garbage or not, you know, and, and going through my frustrations. And a lot of that was born of my frustrations because I was trying to find information about things and I couldn't find it. And I don't trust a lot of the influencers because I think their stuff is bullshit. I think they're basically, you know, doing what their overlords tell them to do and say while they're telling you that they're not being paid or they're not, you know, they're giving you their true opinion and all that stuff, whatever. But a lot of times I couldn't find what I felt was accurate, honest, relevant information. So I decided that I would create that information. So I would go out and buy a particular piece of equipment and I would put it through its process to find out what I wanted to know. And then I shared that so that other people 
could find out. Maybe that they wanted to know the same things I did, but I went out and figured it out, and now I can provide them with it. So that not everybody has to be a dumb little monkey and go out and buy shit all the time, you know, just to play with it and find out that it's crap or find out that it's great or just stumble across something. And I, you know, it's not to say that I don't trust other people because obviously I watch other people's videos. I watch a shit ton of videos, that's all I do. And I get information from them. And then that helps me decide whether or not I want to buy that particular piece of gear and if it would fit into my flow or if it is something that would necessitate me changing my flow, okay? See what I'm saying here? But that's hard to do every day. I've got over 600 videos posted. I mean, for a good chunk of the past few years, I may not have posted daily, but damn near. And the only thing that keeps me from posting daily and where I took a little break for a while and it drove me crazy was day job. Because, you know, I got into a, a particularly brutal time of year or, or I had a big project come in or, you know, like after I got back on the road, after the pandemic shutdown, I figured I wouldn't be able to do this every day. And a lot of times, I throw up shit, call a spade a spade. I admit it, I throw up junk just to say that I posted something because I felt like I'm being stupid for not posting, blah, 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 blah. Well, this week, this I'd say the last week or so, I'm starting to get really, really, I don't wanna say burned out, but demotivated, where I just feel like I'm just posting shit to post shit. I'm not actually putting anything relevant up there. Now, is, is my daily life relevant? Well, it's relevant to me, but even I get bored sometimes with my daily life. It's boring, okay? I'm not traveling the seven seas and, and going to exotic far off locations to meet interesting people and kill them and all that shit. You know, I'm just eking my way through life. Some of you guys come along with me. All this is really just me saying, I, I'm bored with my shit and I don't know what to post. And I kind of feel like I'm, I'm sort of tired right now of buying shit. <laughs> That's not true. Of course I like buying stuff. I love getting new toys, but I got a lot of stuff. And there's a lot of stuff that I've got that I haven't really talked about other than an initial thought or in passing and all that kind of stuff. And I kind of feel like I need to give some of that stuff its due diligence and, and do some justice to it because some of the stuff that I have is really fantastic. And I really, really enjoyed buying it and then finding out that it was really fantastic and then using it in my daily flow. Okay, what's this leading up to? Well, it's leading up to fourth quarter. Fourth quarter in day job is the busiest, most frantic time of year for me. That means that I'm not going to post every day. I'm not gonna post every day. I'm not, I mean, it's not that I'm not gonna, I'm just saying right now, I'm not posting for the next three months. No, I'm not saying that at all. But will I post every day? Likely not. Unless I have something really interesting to say or I just feel like it, and it, you know, because this kind of stuff is like fun for me and, it, and it's cathartic. It, it just helps me not do day job shit because I'm not doing day job shit all day, all the time. Sorry, they don't pay me enough. And even if they did, I'm not doing day job work all the time, especially now that we're getting into the crazy season, there's gonna be a, a higher expectation of things getting done in, in a more aggressive, frantic timeline. So, that is going to mean that if I don't have shit filmed and I'm not editing by five or six o'clock, then I'm probably not gonna post that day because I can't get my day job stuff done and edit and post a video in a timely manner. Like, like I like to be done by eight. I haven't been done and downstairs by eight for a long time other than a one-off here and there. In fact, I said to my wife last night, before you start texting me and telling me it's time for tea, it's gonna be a while. I got shit to do, it's gonna be late. And she said, you know, it seems like it's always late when it's your turn to make tea. And it's true. And it's because I'm always doing this crap, whether it be the video stuff or day job stuff, later and later. And I'm kind of going against my own rules of I'm going to stop doing day job stuff at such and such a time. And then I'm gonna do my video stuff until such and such a time. And then I'm gonna go down and sit my freaking lazy ass down on the couch and I'm gonna chode and enjoy the rest of the night. And I haven't been doing that. Well, times are changing, my friends. So you're hearing it now. I've already shot a ton of stuff today and it all sucked and was stupid and boring. So I decided that, you know what? Here I am, I'm trying to force a video. 
I'm trying to force something interesting, and there's just nothing interesting today. It's a Monday. I had a call. I talked to some people on the phone. I'm doing day job shit, getting ready to go out on the road. You know, like, what more can I say? It, and it's boring. So that's why I thought I'm going to take the time here to just post this little video that's telling you about the fact that I'm coming up on the I'm not posting every day season. And I'm fine with that. If I'm not fine with it, I'm going to make myself fine with it because I'm not going to put that expectation on myself where I've got to start, I have to post today. I have to get all this stuff done. I don't have to do shit. And I'm not going to get myself to a point of stressing out about having to do that. So that's all I wanted to say today, that we're now coming into the fourth quarter, the busiest time of the year for my day job, and I will not be posting a video every day. I'm going to try to bring you some more relevant, exciting videos instead. So instead of seven shitty daily videos, you might get two or three, or maybe even just one, and hopefully not shitty video. So that's it. That's all I have for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward nub.